Okay, I love vintage suitcases and I like to pick them up for storage and um, just, I just love the way they look. But this one, we're gonna do something a little bit different too. There was a little, there's kind of like a little, it's, it's, it's not all the way through, but it's just kind of a little, I don't know, what do you call it? A dent or not like a hole because it doesn't go all the way through. But we're just going to turn this into a little, uh, kind of like, not a bench. What do we call it? Repeal? Yeah, like a stool type of, yeah. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with words. So I wanted to share, this is another thing that we will always pick up. And we have actually had a hard time finding these because we've had a couple of projects that we've needed legs on. And so we just found five of these beautiful, chunky table legs. And so on this little suitcase, I wanted, I said bun feet, but they can get pricey if you're going to buy them. So these, these can give us many legs. We, they're so, they're tall. So right here can give you bun feet. This could be my fingers aren't long enough. This could be legs to something. This could be legs to something. Or you can also use this. Or you can, we're going to use the bun feet here, cut this off, and then you could turn these into wood candlesticks. They would be really good, like stately, chunky uh, candlesticks. I will show you. Can you open this, Matt? I can't do it one-handed. Um, I do love these legs, too, and I did not think they were that expensive. I will leave the link to them in the um, description of this video, but these aren't these cute. So I don't, I might, I don't know. I might keep these. These would be really cute with just a, well, I'll show you once we do this, but just a wood piece of wood on the top, just to make a riser for like your kitchen counter. But I really like these. So I don't know yet if I'm going to take them back, but, um, but yeah, that's also an option, but to save money, <laughs> that's what we do around here. The DIY and the upcycle way. <laughs> grab fine table legs and if you find them at restore yard sales pick just pick them up and just store them in your garage and then um you can use them for all kinds of projects okay we're gonna use the miter saw yeah. to cut this leg down and like i said i just want this to kind of just come off the floor this suitcase so i want him to cut it right here that's where matt now these metal pieces you did those go them? all the way through uh, no. Okay, just that. So here is a little bun feet. You can sand the top to make it perfectly. You know, we'll sand that this edge here but there it is now you can paint them any color you can you know strip them down and get them down actually that would be that would be really cool um and then there's like i said we found five of these so we'll need four uh, and then i just wanted to share look you still have a good leg or these make amazing, amazing candlesticks. Okay, and, okay, go ahead. We, um, I wanna take these little metal things out. Just with a flat well, screwdriver. Is that what you did? I started it with a flat screwdriver, yeah. Okay. Just takes a little finagling and then they will Sometimes like on smaller ones, we've used just like pliers and they'll pop right out. But these legs are really, I don't know if you can tell in the video, they're really chunky. So that's a lot bigger one. So perfect. Okay, we're not going to show this piece, but basically this was just a scrap board we had in the garage. And so Matt just measured and cut it down to fit right inside here. So not only will this help with the legs and what we're going to screw the legs into, but it just makes the base more strong. So you can put more stuff in it, storage. Um, but yeah, so you will just cut a board. How thick is this, would you say, Matt? The board? Yeah, uh, ish. Three quarters. Three quarters. That's how thick we put this one in. Um, just use a scrap board that you have in the garage, but just cut it to fit.
Okay, now is the time that if you're gonna sand them, go ahead and sand them. And usually with old pieces like this, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, he's just hand sanding it. You can def definitely use your orbital sander, use the serve prep sander that I love. Um, but just if you want, if you were gonna just prime them and, but I always say whenever you're painting anything, always give it a scuff sand. Um, and he's doing more than a scuff sand right now because I, I said I'd love to see if it could get down to this natural wood. And it, it easily is with just hand sanding. Um, but a scuff sand is just, you know, you're just trying to rough up that surface for primer or paint to hold on to, but this is coming off really easily, um, just by doing this. So, but now's the time that you'd want to paint them or stain them or whatever you're going to do with them before you get them put on the suitcase. So we, I'm just using the stain that we have on hand. This color is called early American. I didn't get it all down to the you know, like bare, bare wood, because I knew I was going to stain it. So I'm just going to stain these and then let them dry. Okay, now I just, I just took um, an 800 grit sandpaper and just kind of went all over it uh, just to kind of smooth out some of the edges. Now Matt's just going to, I can't do it with sorry. one hand, sorry. Just he's going to wipe it all off, just the sanding dust. Um, and I may try and salve this then when we get it kind of all done and um, they had a like some chalk here that said cardboard they must have yeah so that, this is basically just cleaning it up before I were to put any salve in it or on it but we still have to add the legs and then do the inside and we will show you how we're gonna do that okay now okay now we are trying we're figuring out where the the bun feet are gonna go and so this is just giving him a straight edge, right? You can. Yeah, it's a square. It's a square. And we did a video all about how to use one of these. So make sure to check that out. That's also on YouTube. This is just giving him the straight edge. And then we're trying to figure out where we're going to put the center or the, these, each of these. And we've decided on this one, three right. inches yep. and three inches in. And then we'll measure that on all, all four. Three inches where the middle of this is going to go. So you said. Yes, yeah, yeah, so you'll measure. Yep. That way we'll do three inches. Three inches there. And then three inches there. And that cross that he kind of just made, that tells him exactly where it's gonna, they meet. That's where the center should be. And this is gonna, this is on the bottom. So I'm not worried about that at all. Um, it, like I said, it doesn't go all the way through. It's just somebody hit it pretty hard there, so. We will get the legs on next. Sam, okay. Trim. So, okay, so right now he is finding the center of these because he will pre-drill them a little bit before he just drills them, like puts a screw into them. He will pre-drill them. So he's trying to find the center of the tops of the little bun feet now. I should have, I should have mentioned that so the board that goes on the inside, I want to stain it the same color as the bun feet. So when you stain those, stain, or you could paint this too, but I'm just going to stain uh, this board the same color as the bun feet. And um, so do that. Then it will be ready for you when you're ready to put it all together. Okay. And as most um, projects go, we Matt just ran to the store to get different uh, screws that he needs to use for this. So... While he's gone, I'm going to try and film this. Um, I'm just putting the salve on the outside. And so I love this stuff. It's one of my favorite products for so many projects. Um, but it's just going to kind of just kind of condition this suitcase a little bit more. And it'll just kind of look at the difference. It'll kind of highlight. See, I love the. I love the worn look of this, you know, in the suitcase and it's old. It's like supposed to look that way, but this is just going to kind of condition it a little bit and just make it, just make it that much better. And this, I will let kind of sit, we'll kind of, uh, and then I will, I might rub it off, but I bet you this will soak in so fast. So <clears throat> there won't be a lot of excess on it, but I will do it all over everything, the hardware, everything. Um, and this stuff smells so good. I love, this is the tobacco flower scent. It's one of my favorites from them. Again, I will put the link to this in the 
uh, description of this video, but it's something everybody should have on hand. Okay, Matt is back. Matt is back now. We he got the what we needed to. What are these called? Just so I say the right. So um, the, at different places they call them different things. Like at Menards they call them oh dowel screws. Dowel screws. Screws. Yes, that's what I always. Okay. So he needed to get those. We didn't have the right ones. So this is what he's using to put the legs um, in. Are you gonna explain that? Yeah, uh, to figure out which bit you need. It's always, you line it up so it doesn't show the, the threads are showing, but not the middle. So basically he wants, so he's, like I said before, he's gonna pre-drill so he wants this bit to be a little bit smaller than what he's putting in there. So then a little bit smaller than this, so that this fits into what we're screwing it into and, and it's tight, if that makes sense. So he found the center on these little bun feet that we repurposed from the table legs and he's just gonna pre-drill that hole. Easy peasy. And just a reminder, a video all about how to use the drill matt did a video about using a drill and actually there's a lot of good tips in there uh, that he talks about uh things that you may not even think about so make sure to check out that video as well okay we've got one of the feet on here already yep. oh let me show in here so this is the the board we did stain it that's inside there and he you could have somebody hold this but this is just the square that he used a clamp on to hold it in place. <laughs> so it's just, yeah, everything. the squares are good for everything. So again, he's already pre-marked this so he knows where that's gonna go. He's just pre-drilling. And he's gonna pre-drill like kind of into that wood as well, that wood that's inside. And you're not going all the way through. No. No, you're not gonna go like all the way through that other board or anything. No, you just wanna start it. You just wanna start it so that it just kind of, you're not gonna um, like split the wood. This helps, like the pre-drilling helps so you're not gonna split the wood. So this is that dowel screw. So he's just gonna start that pre-drilled hole that he did. So he's just gonna Hang on to it there and then get that inside that. I'm calling them bun feet. <laughs> yeah. So, is there a certain you want to get that whole half in? Yeah, I do okay. because these, the. the I just want to show them that when you get it all the way done. Dial screws are a little bit bigger, bigger or longer than I don't want it to go all the way through. Okay. He wanted to get that whole other half that he got in there right so far. So then he's just a creaky gate you can probably hear. So then you're just gonna screw that in until it's tight, flush on the bottom of that suitcase. Perfect. Two to go, two down, two to go. Okay, and there it is. It is all done. Now you could, I have seen people paint um, suitcases. You could definitely paint this, not the edges here, like this leather or whatever, but you could definitely paint it if you wanted to. I just like the look of it and the salve really helped it. Um, so I just love that salve. So the feet are on there, and then you still have the storage inside here. Uh, this would be perfect for a footstool, you know, by a chair or, um, <clears throat> you know, like in a living room, set it off to the side, but the kids could sit on it. <laughs> but anyway, I, maybe they could, little kids could, but, and it's got storage. Easy project.